Welcome to Dog Bite Games Off the Road. This is a new class of vehicle they've come out with as of the 21st of August 2019. It's a Peacemaker Amphibious APC. On land, as you can see, it drives pretty much like any other vehicle on land. You can run into the various things in the terrain and knock them over like other vehicles. They can collect coins. They can take some damage apparently. And now it's fixed up much like new. I'm trying to figure out how to show some of the special characteristics of this vehicle. So I've decided to stock up the gold mine off shore on the shore landmass. If you notice I just picked up a trailer, load worth of rocks. Can't tell it's still back. Oh, there they are. There's the symbol for the trailer just behind our vehicle while we're in the ocean. And the haul line indicates it's supposed to be back there as well. Oh, this uh, amphibious vehicle does not steer particularly well in the water. tires up front trying to be used as rudders. It doesn't really steer that well. It's a little bit slow too. <coughs> you also got to watch it when you, if you jump into the water. Try not to roll them because it's possible you can land with the wheels and be up position, in which case you cannot turn them back over very easily unless you haul them up onto land, find a steep cliff and the right shape of cliff and use the winch to haul them around until you just happen to get them to roll back. It's either that or you've got to restart the game and reset it and he'll start on his wheels then. As you can see our trailer got hauled out of the ocean with us. And you can use the amphibious to also to go to the offshore islands to collect coins. Probably it's principal task, but I decided to come up with this task here, which was stock up the offshore gold mine. As you notice, the uh, amphibious vehicle can only carry 14 units worth of goods or 15 units worth of goods. It's a medium capacity vehicle. So it's gonna take a few trips to get that gold mine up and running. And I'm gonna head up to the woodcutter up here at the top of the mountain. Get a trailer load of wood. That's what's inside that yellow circle at the top of the screen there. But there's something new in this game provided by Dog Bites. Or Dog Bite Games. It's a ghost building. The sign says, coming soon. I assume that's in a future update. Okay, let's get a trailer load worth of wood. Found something here. If you go over this just sideways, take it slow, and get them to line up with the bridge and use the bridge to get over. 
do that with most other vehicles in this landmass as well. They try to race over the cliff, doesn't work too well, you usually end up just dumping them into the ocean, in which case you lose your trailer load of stuff. Although that doesn't happen with the amphibious vehicle, unless he rolls around with his tires up. Hey, we need five units of rock, five units of wood yet. Yeah, looks like we're stuck in the ravine. Yep, let's use the winch and haul them out. And a big old rock. Let's try that technique again. A little slow and sideways. Well, what do you know? We could probably make the bridge. But I want to demonstrate something here, so I'm going to go into the water. Oh, shoot. Looks like my amphibious vehicle is taking some damage. One of the hatch opened. I don't see the rock back there, but the haul line's still good, so let's see if it's still back there when we get up to shore. straight in on the shore it's best if we go a little bit of an angle even though it's a little not overly steep here I just found it works better if you go a bit of an angle it's not working I think our rock hooked on something now we take a quick peek the rock back the rock is back there And trust the haul line symbols work. As I was saying, we try not to roll him when we jump into the water. He's got a little bit there, but good. He popped up. But oh, his wheels being up top. I think we damaged him a little more. It looks like another hatch opened up. There are also a couple hatches on the side when you really damage him. And like other vehicles, the engine can catch fire. You really beat him up. Looks like a big old log. Yep. And we take a look. We've definitely got a log. 
We don't have to just trust the hall lines the symbols working. Well, that's a little easier than without hauling a heavy rock up there. task I've assigned myself to get the go offshore gold mine into production has been accomplished. Eh, let's pick up some coins out here while we're out here. Probably the primary use of this vehicle. You know what? I am going to step out of this vehicle and show you what it looks like. Well, it's not exactly pretty, is it? It's not green, it'd be kind of camouflaged in most scenes and off the road game. Yeah, it's slightly beat up. It's not a lot to look at. Oh, while we're here, just under that top bar there, you can see the three turrets for the driver, or three periscopes for the driver. Not a whole lot to see in the shadow side here, and there probably won't be a lot to see in the back, but. You check out the official release dog bite games for this vehicle and the updated companies with you'll get a better look at the vehicle there and they also use the other style of turret now while we're out here I've got all the parts in this vehicle fully upgraded I am going to turn it into the naked vehicle I didn't put anything on the front of it Now let's go take a look at it. Holy moly! That's it. A slab on wheels. Some mirrors, headlight, periscope, hull, hull hooks, some steps, a couple cable lines, and some tail lights. Oh, and there are underwater propellers. Yeah, well, while we're here, one other way to make this vehicle look a little bit different. It comes with two styles of turrets. Here's the other style of turret. This is the one you'll see in the official dog bite, dog bite games video, uh, YouTube uh, release. Looks a little different than the turret I chose. I don't know, I just like the turret I chose. I'm surprised they haven't released it with released the game with just the turret and without the safety uh, crash bars as well for both turret styles. I've also found that when you get the parts for this vehicle, there's two red sets as opposed to a red set and a dark brown set for some of the parts. Well, let's go take the vehicle for a little more of a spin, I guess. Well, let's have to get back into it for that. And what's it look like from the back here? I don't know. It's kind of a toss-up to me, to which style of turret you like. I don't have all the other custom parts on here. 